Hey guys, it's Ethan here with another video. And in today's video, I am going to be giving you a book summary on The Keeper of the Lost Cities, book two, titled Exile. So I'm very sorry um, if this video hasn't been out for almost two weeks now. It turns out that this book took me a pretty long time to read. And not uh, because it was typically long. I mean, it does have like 500 pages. But the reason that this review couldn't come out for a long time is because this book was not that addicting. And um, I had a very hard time, you know, to basically dive into the story. This book was very slow and it didn't really grab my attention. So Sophie Foster now is 13 years old and she is living in Havenfield with her new adopted parents, all right? We have Grady and Edeline. And basically uh, at the beginning of the story, it turns out that Sophie, she actually finds um, this alicorn which is basically a mix of a unicorn and a pegasi, and Sophie decides to call her Sylvia. And Sophie also finds out that she has a new power. So basically, Sophie, she, she is telepathy, so she can communicate with other people, you know, like Fitz and Keefe, but she also finds out that she has a new hidden talent, and this talent is that she can also talk with animals. And after um, she actually meets uh, this alicorn, she decides to adopt it. Now, raising a unicorn is very hard. You know, it's, it's kind of like raising a dog or cat, right? It takes a lot of responsibility. And this alicorn is very rare because it turns out that there has only been two in the past millimeter. So she is considered very lucky. Then after this, um, it turns out that it is the 15th anniversary since Grady and Edeline lost their uh, daughter. So they decide to take Sophie to this woods called the Wandering Woods. And uh, there they have this huge ceremony and all of that. Now, Sophie feels this sense of self-pity because it turns out in book one, she and Dax almost died, and they actually had a funeral for her. So she feels very guilty about this, and she has this sense of entitlement. Then we find out that Elden, who is Fitz's father, he actually contacts Sophie, and he tells Sophie if she can be his guide, okay? So um, her and Elden, they decide to travel to this place called Exile, which is like this prison cell, like in this hot desert. And uh, there they actually uh, interview some people. And there they, they actually interview Finton, who actually created this fire called the Everboys. And he has been in prison for over a hundred years because he is very dangerous. And then it turns out that Elden, he actually gets very sick and his mind shatters. And the reason his mind shatters is because it was from guilt of Prentice. Because, because basically like 14 years ago, uh, there was this man named Prentice and uh, he was overthrown. And Elden, he was the one who exiled him. And now Prentice's son is very sad because he doesn't have a dad. So Elden has been living with this guilt for like 14 years and that's why um, he has a blackout. So then Sophie doesn't know what to do. So instead she decides to seek help from the black swan. Now Sophie thinks that the black swan are the good guys. Okay, they are this organization that we don't really know much about but she actually keeps getting these clues every day and she comes to the conclusion that maybe she can trust these guys, right? Also, Sophie, she was basically created by the Black Swan. So she's basically an experiment. And her and Keefe, with the help of Sylvia, they decide to travel to this mysterious destination across the world. 
and there they're going to try to help the black swan. And there they actually meet Mr. Forco, who is the head director of the black swan. Now, Mr. Forco, before he was an elf, he was actually disguised as a normal human being. And when Sophie hit her head when she was five years old, she actually, he actually called the police, and that's how uh, Sophie got help. And when Sophie discovers that Mr. Forco is actually an elf, she freaks out. And Mr. Forco tells Sophie that the only way uh, he can cure Sophie is that she has to take this injection of limbium. And limbium uh, is this substance that is very dangerous. But Sophie agrees and is talked into taking it. After she takes this dose, she actually goes back to Havenfield and she manages to fix Elden's broken mind. And then uh, at the end of the story, the council agrees that she will not be exiled and that she is free to go. But the book ends very sadly because it turns out that Sylvia, um, she actually can't live in Havenfield anymore and she has to live in this sanctuary. And yeah, guys, uh, that is the end of the book. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that said, thanks for watching.